In the air of Italy at the Autodromo Enzo and Dino Ferrari of Imola, the spectators are going to see one of the best battles and defense in Formula 1 history. It's 2005 and the two protagonists of today are Michael Schumacher and Fernando Alonso. Xiaomi is on the way to win his 8th world champion and his 6th consecutive with Ferrari. And then there is Fernando that for the first time with his Renault is fighting for the championship. In the first 3 races of that season Alonso won 2 and Fisichella his teammate won. The Ferrari of the Kaiser struggling and do 2 DNFs and 7th place in the first 3 races. Renault is clearly the fastest car that year and the Ferrari struggle with the new bridges and tires. But in Imola the story seems to be different. In front of the Tifosi Schumacher flies and the Renault looks slower. This video is sponsored by DaCastaF1.com, the best place to find Formula 1 models. Whether you are a big collector or just starting out, they have lots of great models from your favorite teams and drivers. Only with the first link in the description you will get 8% off your order. Thanks to thecastf1.com for sponsoring this video and let's continue with it. The Autodromo Dino and Enzo Ferrari located in Italy's Emilia Romagna region in Imola is famous for its challenging layout with corners like Aqua Minerale and Variante Alta that test both driver skills and strategy. The circuit's design demands precision and consistency, making a true driver's circuit. The fervent of the Tifosi create an electrifying atmosphere, turning race into a celebration of motorsport. But that year, the Tifosi aren't happy as the last. We need to remember that in 2004, Ferrari won 13 out of the 18 races, and this year only a 7th place with Michael Schumacher. It's qualifying for the San Marino Grand Prix of the 2005. Kimi Raikkonen with his McLaren sat pole position ahead of Fernando Alonso in P2. The Ferrari driver will start in P13 after an issue during the qualifying. He's desperate to do a comeback for his fans, for the Tifosi. After the start, Raikkonen is still P1, but only for a few laps. In fact, on lap 8, a mechanical issue forced him out. So Alonso took the lead of the race, while Schumacher is only P12. But Schumacher is fast, is consistent. He continues to do great laps with consistency, and so when his rival spitted, he stayed out. This strategy led him to gain a lot of position and rejoin after the piste in P4. When he rejoined, Schumacher was at 20 seconds behind Button in P2. And in 12 laps, I mean 12 laps, he was at 1 seconds to him. By this time, the race win was possible. Alonso was in the lead by 10 seconds, but Schumacher continued to do fastest lap, great laps and gaining also on Fernando. At 12 laps to the end, Schumacher has catch Alonso and is now in his slipstream. But to pass Alonso is another story. Schumacher was faster, much faster than Fernando, but Alonso defended the position like a lion. For example, at the Variante Alta, Schumacher nearly edged alongside Alonso, but Alonso's defense's life was impeccable. At the Rivasa, Schumacher's late breaking attempts for an overtake, but Alonso again defended really, really well. Each maneuver was met with precise counter moves from Alonso, who expertly managed his tire degradation and car positioning. The final laps showed Alonso determination and Schumacher constant pressure. Michael pushed his Ferrari R trying to find any chance to pass, but Alonso stayed calm and smart, keeping his lead. As they crossed the finish line, Alonso won, showing 
is growing talent and potentially to be a champion and that year will be for the first time. This race was a turning point in Formula 1 marking Alonso rise to fame. Alonso defended 12 laps against a 7 time world champion. This was the 2005 Imola Grand Prix.